Ben Olo, Laws of Life and Business, The Laws of Life and Business, Ben Olo. The law of life is to leave behind the ground one is standing on and then to step forward. This is according to Ramaswamy. When I was younger, approximately 12 years old, we would be in a number of activities, particularly taking care of cattle. During those activities, we would be engaged in several games. Boys will always be boys. One of the games we usually love to do was to hit different things with slings. So you'd find us hitting at the birds, hitting sometimes at one another, and most times at the sun. We particularly used to like shooting at the sun because it gave us an opportunity to evaluate how far our storms could go. But sooner we realized that all the storms we sent to the sun will be coming back at us and it was our opportunity to dash for safety otherwise the stones would hit us. This phenomenon troubled my young mind for a while until when I was in class seven, I was introduced to the law of gravity. I got to know that there's a law that operates in our universe. The law of gravity was credited to Sir Isaac Newton. This law simply stated says that whatever can go up will eventually come down. Whatever goes up will eventually come down. Together with the law of gravity, in my learnings, I've noted clearly that the creator of the universe has also given us certain fundamental laws, which are just as applicable to life and business as the law of gravity is applicable to nature. Today, I want to relish your evening by sharing with you two of these very important laws. Now to the first law of the universe, law of life and business. That is, the law of sowing and reaping. The law of sowing and reaping. Simply stated, this law says that whatever it is you sow, you shall reap back. This means if I went out and sowed corn, I will reap back corn. On the other hand, if I went out and sowed beans, then walking around my crop, prophesying to my crop, positively speaking to my crop, will not cut it. At the same time, I've come to learn that this law applies to physical things such as love. If you want more love, go out and sow some love. I learned that this law can also be stated very differently. And that is, whatever you're reaping right now is what you've been sowing in your life until this moment. The first time I heard this law stated this way, I was distraught. I thought that it couldn't apply to my situation because I thought, especially in the area of finances, friendship and social life, I thought it was a result of the economy, the negative relatives, the cynical neighbors, and also those Toastmasters who promised to be there for you. And then they're not there when you need them. But I learned that I was wrong. Whatever you are harvesting right now, is the subject of what you've been sowing until this moment. This law stated this way is also very liberating because if the results I have right now is what I've been sowing, then I can go back and begin to sow something different so that by December, I will be a beneficiary of the fruits I'd like to see in my life. Now to law number two, the law of use and disuse. Simply stated this law says that whatever you don't use, you lose. They don't bring it up for a debate. Watch me closely. Suppose I tie this right left hand of mine here for two weeks. I never got to use it. What do you think will happen to my hand? I will never get to use it again. But suppose I try my strong right arm over here for two weeks. What do you think will happen? I will never get to use it again. As an intelligent audience, perhaps you're asking yourself, but Ben, this is your strong right arm. Yes, the answer is the same. I will never get to use it again. Why? Whatever you don't use, you lose. If you have a beautiful smile that you don't use, you'll become smug. If you have some fantastic ideas of how your life can improve and become better, 
and you don't use them, you'll become dumb. And if you don't use your enthusiasm, your energy, your goal setting prowess, you will be stuck like a pillar of salt. I would like to let my listeners know this afternoon and evening that just like the law of gravity applies in nature, the law of use and disuse applies in every area of business and life. As a result of that, I would like to encourage all of us. This law also applies in the area of nature. Simply stated, it says that whatever you feed gets bigger. If you feed your stomach, it gets bigger. If you feed your smile, it gets better. If you feed your energetic self, you become stronger. I have simply shared with you, ladies and gentlemen, fellow Toastmasters and guests, the two fundamental laws that are important for life and business. The first of these laws is the law of gravity. The second of these is simply the law of sowing and reaping, as well as the law of use and disuse. I want you to remember about this saying when you leave this meeting by Zig Ziglar. Zig Ziglar said that life is an echo, that whatever you send out comes back in. Whatever you give, you will receive. Whatever you sow, you shall reap. And whatever you see in others already exists in you. Remember, as you begin the year this fantastic 2021, that you determine the kind of results that you'll achieve at the end of the year. If you sow love, you'll get more of the love back. If you sow hatred, on the other hand, then you'll get that back to you multiplied, pressed down, shaken together, and even running over back to your Toastmaster of the evening. 